welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkin Wiesma and today uh, I have another unboxing to do. I uh, ordered some uh, orchids from Swerder Orchids from Germany and uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> I was very inspired after our uh, update, the care collab of the uh, Cattleya Preparadas. So I went online, had a look and I found uh, a few beauties that I really uh, wanted to uh, add to my collection. To be honest, I saw them before for sale, but because of the, uh, they are very young plants, I was like, no, I'm going to wait. Maybe I find them uh, a bit older, a bit bigger, but I never see them uh, older and bigger. So a year later, I thought, well, I'm going to order them. Well, at least one of them. And then I saw the other one and I checked it and that one has supposed to have also uh, give very beautiful blooms. So uh, I ordered them. So welcome to this unboxing. Uh, let's see what we have in this box. To be honest, there's another unboxing on the way uh, box. And then uh, I will uh, stop buying orchids for uh, a week or so. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun of course. So that's why I'm filming it. I'm very excited. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look. Sure, the orchids. Yes, I did order from them before. Uh, but I have no idea what. I should uh, look in my notes. I keep it uh, always in my notes where I do find my orchids. But uh, yeah, I apparently had an account already there. <laughs> so, but it w it's been a while. So I'm very curious to see what, uh, what the quality is of these, uh, these orchids. Um, Trying to open this carefully, of course. Here we go, almost there. Oops. Triple pieces of tape. Yes, there we are. <laughs> and let me uh, grab the invoice quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I had. Uh, I was forgetting the one that I did have. Well, and anyhow, this is an invoice that's for, for later. I was, I thought I uh, had, yeah, no, I'm not going to say how much, otherwise I'm spoiling the surprise, of course. So just focus on the unpacking. I will do my best. <laughs> I will do my best. Oops, I'm sorry, that was my mic. Maybe you heard it. So far the packaging looks very, very good. And there we are, the first one. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny because I have a very similar one. And I will show it to you guys, of course. But first, I need to find a way to get a tape off. Maybe I should it do this uh, like this, so we have a bit of better vision of of what I'm doing here. <laughs> So yeah, it's always nice buying new orchids, of course. Uh, that's, I think, a uh, huge problem of all of us. <laughs> but those little gifts, right? Little gifts, are always beautiful. But I must admit, if you can sh really shop for them, you can really look at your plants and see how they are doing. That's even better, I think. But yeah, I'm kind of limited on what I can uh, find in my uh, country, of course. So I like the orders from time to time. Here we go. Oh, this looks beautiful. Two new growths here. And this is obviously a dendrobium type. Let's get a paper off. Yes. Let me check. And uh, I think, not completely sure, but looks like it's also making a new root, but it's can not that easy to show and to see. But this is the, where is the name tag? There. <laughs> The Roy Takanada, Dendrobium Roy Takanada. And it's kind of funny because 
I have the Nora Takanada, so I thought <laughs> I uh, let's buy the Roy Takanada as well, so I can uh, put them together. We have uh, Roy and Nora together, the Takanadas. But yeah, it's beautiful, of course, beautiful blooms. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But um, and looks like maybe we have is it the start of a spike? Looks kind of yeah, looks like it. And in that one, the same. I'm not completely sure. But who knows, who knows. But so far, this one uh, looks really healthy. Beautiful, uh, beautiful dendrobium, for sure. Let's put him over here. He's a bit top heavy. With the name tag there. Okay, next one. Here we go. Need my scissors, of course. Ah, oh, there goes the name tag. This is the one that I had no idea, idea of that it uh, did exist, <laughs> but I looked it up and it's a very colorful uh, bloom for a uh, Purparata type. Young plants, they say. One to two years from uh, blooming, I believe. But it's okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Healthy leaves, beautiful new growth here. And my other preparata, the uh, rubra, maybe all do, I'm not sure. They start to shoot out uh, roots when the new growth do uh, start to mature. So who knows? Can I cut through it? It's a little bit too thick, so let's try to. No. Try it again. There we go. Because I want to have a look. Yeah, I see a fairly uh, new root already here. So it's maybe it's already started a new root system. There we are. Oh yeah, look at that. This is what I mean. Beautiful. This needs a repot fairly quickly. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be very difficult to uh, keep those uh, roots healthy and not break them. But you can see several new roots. So yeah, this one is uh, is going in a new pot fairly soon. And this is the Purparata millionaria. Beautiful blooms. You should look it up. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm, I'm not sure if I can share the pictures, so that's why I don't share pictures because they are from the internet and some people do it, but I always am, don't like it because of the copyright. And we have one more. So yeah, I ordered three new plants from Schroeder. This one seems to be the smallest of them all, the youngest. Maybe this one is even three years from blooming, I have no idea. But young plants do like to uh, adapt a bit better in a new system, so that's the uh, positive side. And it's nice to have them bloom after years of growing them of course but yeah we need to be uh, have some patience patience yeah it's a very small one very young one but also a beautiful new growth and yeah same situation also just started the new roots, very teeny tiny pot. So yeah, it will come out as well. Soon, pretty soon because of that new root there. And there, new root tips. Beautiful, I'm very happy with this, very happy. So this 
is die Lelia Pebrada Carnea. Of Carnea Carnea. Also very beautiful blooms. I believe that, if I'm correct, Orchids by the Lake has this one. He showed his blooms on this one, I believe. But there is somebody in the Kepler, probably more, that have these, uh, this, this uh, variety of the Purpurata. And it's a bit top heavy. I will clean up and then we will have a close up on and the blooms, or the plants, I'm sorry. <laughs> Turns out that I just deleted the footage on <laughs> this last part of the video. So I had them on the orchid table, but uh, meanwhile I did uh, put them here next to the other ones I just uh, did receive a few days back. Not sure when I did upload the video at this point. But anyhow, a, a last look. This is the Alelia, uh, I'm sorry, Cattleya purpurata millionaria. Here we see is, and I'm very careful with those roots there. But yeah, I'm really happy this one is also making some new roots, as does this one. And Cattleya purpurata carnea. Was Lelia, it's now Cattleya. Anyhow, <laughs> those are D, and I think this one maybe even two years, three years from blooming. Two years, I think. Not completely sure, but like I said in a video or uh, in other videos, that the younger plants are do adapt, uh, in my opinion, easier to a new system. So that's uh, that's fine. And once they do adapt, I just need to grow them on, and hopefully, uh, one day they will bloom for us. And then here in the back we have this beautiful Roy Dendrobium Roy Takanana. So yeah, that's beautiful. Like I said, he is going to uh, join his Nora soon, and Nora is over here while we edit. Let's uh, let's have a look, a quick look. Oops, and it's a bit windy, but here, uh, so you may hear that in the back, uh, background, that this is the Nora. But at least according to uh, Michael McCarthy, that helped, did help me with the name. And uh, she's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. She has also whoops, beautiful new growths there, beautiful blooms, and here's a beautiful spot that I should clean up a little bit, but that's uh, the spot for Rory. So yeah, you guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it in the comment section below. But uh, for now, this is the video, and of course, I hope to see you at one of my next ones. Whoops! <laughs> Start knocking things over. Bye-bye! <laughs>